Good evening, everybody. It's Friday, and look, I just had a taste for something I have not eaten or prepared in literally years. I want some succotash or okra corn and tomatoes. So, what I'm going to do is prepare some. Now, I've only had this big can, and all of this out of the can, except for the okra is frozen, and the onions, of course, are fresh. So, I'm going to saute my onions. I've got the, um, I'm not going to use this entire can. This is a big, big can. This is like a pound of uh, tomatoes. I don't think I'm going to have to use all of it. And then I've got tomato paste here. I haven't made it in a while, so I'm going to feel my way through it. I've never made it on the channel before, so this is something new to my channel. So I want some succotash for my dinner today. And I, I think I'm going to have a piece of salmon that I thawed, but I overthought it and almost cooked it in the microwave. But that's okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hook it up. And then uh, for Kareem, I'm going to make him some Italian sausage and uh, linguine. And I think I'm going to put a little bit of that Italian sausage in my succotash. So we're going to start with, uh, first of all, i got to get my tomato, oh, I'm sorry, my onion saute and I've got to cook the okra. So I'm going to go ahead and get that process started. And as that cooks, you know, this is just a simple little process. We're just going to take the onions over here to my skillet. So y'all see what I'm doing. You just put them right in there. And get them started sauteing. And my camera tells me that my battery is low. So I'm going to have to pump it up. Got those onions sauteing. And I'm going to go ahead now and get the okra in the pan. Because I'm going to cook that okra about 15 minutes. Uh, are there any okra lovers out there? A lot of people don't like okra. I'm using uh, two cups of um, cut okra. Okay, I like lots of okra in mine. And I'm also going to put some lima beans in there. I got those lima beans uh, in the microwave store. And I already had some cooked. So I'm going to be using my leftover lima beans from... I did I make those about two Sundays ago? Yeah, maybe two or three Sundays ago. But I got everything was going. Um, I would, you know, I always try to saute my peppers and onions. I'm not doing peppers right. I don't, no, I'm not going to do peppers in this. But anyway, y'all know I saute and season all of my uh, onions and peppers, so it's no different here. And I also put a little bit of salt in that water with the okra. So I'm going to go ahead and start. But this is a real simple meal. This is a, one of those old dishes. You know, you can eat uh, okra corn and tomatoes with um, just over rice, or you can have it with whatever. When we grew up, we used to have it a lot. Uh, and if you put llama beans in, I think that's when it becomes succotash. But in, at any rate, this is how we're going to start it out. So we got everything going now. I got my water for the linguine on that back burner there. Uh, and that's going to be... I'm just going to do some Italian sausage in a uh, spaghetti, a uh, hunt, uh, tomato sauce, and, you know, doctor it up a little bit. And that's what Kareem's going to eat, because I know he's not going to eat just okra corn and tomatoes. So, it's something simple, just something I felt like I wanted uh, to eat today. And again, I'm still doing the low or no carb thing. So, I think I don't have to worry about carbs too much with this okra corn and tomatoes. The lima beans will have, it add a little bit of starch, but I don't think anything that's going to um, do it, you know, any, any real damage. I'm still doing good. I've lost um, eight or nine pounds. I haven't gotten on the scale. I'm trying to refrain from getting on the scales every day. You know how that is. When you lose a couple of pounds, you want to weigh every day. So I'm trying not to do that. Okay, so I'll be back in a few shakes of a duck's tail. Okay, those onions are nicely sauteed. I've got them out of the pan. They're ready um, to for the next phase of, um, I'm gonna be using them in both dishes that I'm making. So the okra is boiling nice. I'm just gonna turn it down a little bit. So what I'm doing now, that I've got the onions out of the pan. I'm gonna go ahead and get over here on the other side and start slicing that Italian sausage. And I'm gonna get it ready to go in the same pan where the, uh, all I did was just, uh, I'm just using, um, I think it's food line brand, of course, uh, Italian sausage. Just slicing them up and sauteing them the same way I did the onions. 
so that they are um, not as close to the seam. Put that out of my way there. And that. These are, these Italian sauces are real good. I mean, this is the food line brand. I think it's like $3 for five or six of them. I think it's five in a package. Yeah, five in a package. And I just slice them. Like so. And once they get uh, nice and brown, I'm going to throw the onions back in there with it. Put, I hope you can hear me. Some people were saying last time they couldn't hear me. Uh, I don't know if it's those particular people's phones, but when I play my uh, videos back, I can hear them well, so I, I don't know what's going on. Uh, I apologize for that. And so, you know, and too, while I'm cooking, like right now, I know the meat frying and it has a little sizzle to it. But whatever I'm saying, you can see me doing it right here. All I'm doing right here is a matter of fact, is slicing these sausages. So they can get just sauteed. I'm just slicing sausages and sauteed. I am away from, I was away from the camera, but I'm just simply slicing them and um, getting them in the pan. Okay? Alrighty. That's a lot of sausage there, too. Stir. I got my noodles on the back. So I'm just multitasking. I'm doing it all at one time. So. I'll have these sausages ready and I'll move on to the next phase of this of these two dishes that I'm preparing. Okay, I'm back. The okra is ready, so I'm gonna go ahead and start putting my uh succotash together. Um it's gonna be about a cup of uh yeah, about a cup of sauteed onions. Because then I'm gonna take the rest of them that's gonna go in my uh linguine and Italian sausage. So I'm just gonna mix the uh, okra. Oh, that's so wonderful. I sure hope a lot of y'all like okra because I sure do. So just mix the okra and the um, tomatoes together. And you know, everything is seasoned. I always season everything separately. And when I put it together, then those flavors just fuse together and make for the best dish. Okay, the next thing I'm going to put in, I've got a 15 ounce can of sweet whole kernel corn. Put that can of corn in there. And I've got some frozen lima beans. I'm going to put the equivalent about, maybe not a, a full cup, maybe three-fourths of a cup of uh, lima beans. These are left over from a couple Sundays ago. So just drop them right on in there. It's almost like making soup, but not quite. It's not going to be soupy. Mine's going to be kind of a thick consistency. Because usually when we were coming up, we would put this over rice. Or, Lord, don't even get me started with cornbread. Because I remember I can't have the bread, so I can't do cornbread. So, it's going to get a lot of nice veggies going in here. Maybe I will go ahead and do a cup. Because I, I was thinking my pan was going to be overrun, but it's not. So, just go ahead now. Y'all see the okras. What the okras do. Oh, wow, that is so wonderful, y'all. So wonderful. And those beans have a little piece of our ham meat in there. We're going to leave it in there. And my next ingredient is going to be, this is a huge can of tomatoes, but I'm going to own, I'm not going to use this entire can, I don't think. Let's just see how much I'm going to need. Because I'm thinking I only need it a little over half the can. Okay. I may need the whole can. I may have to take this out of this pot, too. But you see how it's coming along? Mm. Woo. Now, I got to put some, um, about a half a can of um, tomato paste in there. A small can there. So about, let's see, how many ounces is this? About three ounces of tomato paste because this is not a big, big, big pot. This is, I think, yeah. Mm. This is going to be so good, y'all. And I think I'm going I'm to garnish it 
on top with uh, some of those Italian sausage. Just use one, just so I have a little bit of meat. Since I'm not gonna eat the linguine, cannot eat the linguine. That's so pretty, isn't it pretty? Okay, now let me get started with my uh, <clears throat> seasonings outside of what I've already put in there. And we're just gonna drop a half a teaspoon of uh, garlic powder in there, okay? Not a lot of garlic powder because garlic will take over as you know. Okay, y'all, there it goes. I put the last thing I, before my camera clumped on me, I had it, somehow I had it too close to the stove and it overheated. But anyway, I put a, a teaspoon of black pepper in there. Then I put a half a teaspoon of uh, my jerk seasoning just to fire it up a little bit. I like it sort of spicy a little. So you can put that, the, uh, any kind, you can put, you can do a cayenne pepper, red pepper, chili peppers, whatever you want to do, but I use a little bit of jerk, because I know jerk has a, uh, particular kind of seasoning to it. And I'm also going to get ready to put my half a stick of butter in there, um, to add that extra added flavor. And I'm not going to cook it, really, because it's already done. I'm just going to let it heat and blend. And if you like, you can put a teaspoon of sugar, brown sugar or white sugar, uh, because I uh, know that it doesn't take that much. I put a little bit of stevia just to knock the edge off of some of that acidity. My phone, of course, is ringing off the hook there. Hold one sec. Of course, that was one of my favorite grandchildren. Anywho. Got that butter in there. I'm going to let that butter melt in there really, really good. And I got myself something yum, yum, yum. You can call it extra thick soup. You can call it anything you want to. Now, you do know with this, you can drop some chicken in there. You can drop some shrimp or any other kind of uh, meat that you want to. Um, because I had not planned to <coughs> do uh, any meat in it at all. I'm just going to drop me a couple pieces of that sausage right on top of it because I got that sausage really for this uh, Italian sausage and linguine. But the succotash or okra corn tomatoes, whatever you want to call it, it is ready. It is wonderful. I'm just letting it all blend together. This is a real quick dish because I did use canned veggies. You can make it fresh. I've made it fresh for you gardeners. If y'all got tomatoes in your garden and some fresh corn or want to run out to the store and do it. Same difference. I mean, you just chop all these ingredients up and cook them. The only thing you have to just really pay attention to that might be a little bit different is sauteing those onions. But at any rate, this uh, succotash, I'm going to call it succotash because I did put the limas in there. So it is ready to eat, y'all. So I'm going to move on now to making my sausage and linguine. And this whole meal will be done. I mean, this is like good, healthy food, hearty food that you can make inside of about 30, 45 minutes. So I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I'm getting ready to put this um, Italian sausage and linguine together. Another super simple dish to make. Um, of course, I had a uh, pound and a half package of uh, Italian sausage, which amounted to, I believe there was five sausage in there, so I took maybe a half a sausage. That's about all I, I needed for my um, sucker tosh. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and put in the, um, literally all I got to do, because I've sauteed the onions, remember, so literally all I got to do is mix this spaghetti sauce. This one is called, this is Hunt, how about that, it's Italian sausage flavor. So we'll have that steam going through. Now, I don't know if I'm going to need all of this or not. Oh, that's kind of splattering now. Okay, then I'm going to put those sauteed. Remember, I already sauteed my onion. That's why I'm saying this is like two separate dishes. And it's just going to do the trick tonight. So the sauce basically is made. Because that hunts is a pretty good sauce. Now, I am going to add a little bit of brown sugar to this because, you know, tomato-based uh, products are really, have a lot of acidity to them, and they tend to be kind of tart. I don't care for that tart flavor. Okay. I'm also going to add some extra Tones Italian seasoning to this. 
a little tablespoon of that. Let's add it right in there. Throw you about a teaspoon of complete seasoning in there. You know I have to do my little extra stuff now. Y'all know I gotta do my extra part. Wouldn't be me if I didn't add extra, would it? Okay, so we're just gonna sort of let that simmer for about five or six minutes because everything's already cooked. Uh, the sauce, really, we just heating it. That hunts did a real good job cooking it, and I appreciate them. Okay, so let's get this out of the way. Um, I'm gonna get my brown sugar and uh, add about a, um, a good couple of teaspoons of brown sugar to that to cut uh, the acidity in that tomato sauce. Yeah, I think all I'm gonna need, even if I need that much, I'm gonna start with one teaspoon. And then it'll be ready to go right on top of the uh, linguine. I'm gonna start with that much there. I may need a little bit of more of that tomato sauce. It's not a lot of, I mean, not having to use a lot of it. Um, Kylie is going to come visit me in a little while. Her dad and her money are going to the movie. Oh my goodness, that's good. Oh, I don't want to pour any water in that. That's perfect. I'm hoping I don't have to do anything else to that. Now, I've got my noodles already over here on the side. And what I'm going to do is toss them in this sauce. I'm going to make sure... There's the linguine. I'm gonna move my sucker touch off to the side there. There's my linguine noodles already. Look what I got going there, Liz. I love using this uh, container. I might have to get me another cup of those. I like that. That's the perfect size casserole dish. Perfect size. Thanks again, girl, for that gift. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I did about a half a box of that linguine. I didn't do the entire box because I, I just didn't think I needed to. I'm going to put a little bit of oil. Let's see if I got, if you got olive oil, put some olive oil on it. If not, pour whatever because you want to loosen those noodles up a little bit. Um, I'm going to put a little, just a tad of water in that sauce to, to lighten it up because I, I want this, there to be enough sauce going over those noodles because when they sit you know the, the sauce is going to absorb those noodles I mean the noodles are gonna, ah, the noodles are going to absorb the sauce actually uh, okay not, not the other way around so we're just going to toss them toss them really good that's some good sauce y'all real good sauce I think I'm going to have to use a little bit more. You know what? I don't like to use too much sauce. I just don't like having too, too much sauce. I'm going to have to make me up a little bit more there. And all I did was just added another, um, probably another fourth of a cup of uh, sauce. So almost, let's see, this can of, let's see, I might just go ahead and do the whole can. Let me see. Let me see if something can say. Just let me see. Yeah. Let me go ahead and just. I need the whole 15 ounce can. So when you're mixing it with your meat, just do the whole can. You're going to need the whole can. 15 ounce can. A little bit more brown sugar. And I already cooked my complete seasoning. And this is just the way I doctor up. The, the sauce probably was okay like it was, but I like to doctor mine up. Okay. Get rid of that. And what I'm going to do, because I like to heat that sauce too, before I pour it on there. Give it a little taste. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. So, what I'm going to do is let that heat up, then I'm going to get my uh, pasta going in my beautiful casserole dish here. Let's go ahead and do that. Get in the dish. Pour it right out into the dish there. 
get that off to the side. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this the rest of the sauce in there. Because you know noodles, what I was trying to say earlier, noodles absorb sauce. Because they're porous and they're, they're going to. But make sure that sauce is real piping hot before you put it on those noodles. That's why I'm heating the rest of this up before I put it on there. To make good and sure. Oh, that is so good. That hunts. That hunts uh, tomato sauce is good. Spaghetti sauce really is wonderful. I love it. You don't have to do a lot of doctoring to it. That's what I like about it. So we almost got this dual dish dinner ready. I'm gonna go ahead and find me a lid. still melting over there. No, I didn't put any butter in the spaghetti. I put the uh, oil in there instead of uh, butter. I'm leaving that sort of off to the side there. I'm going to let that sort of boil up a little bit and then I'm going to pour it right over those noodles and we're going to be done with that dish. Okay. It's just so easy to make a good hearty meal with, you know, grab some cans out the cover pack of meat or sausage or something out of the freezer. And you know what? Is there a game tonight? I know there was one. I believe Serene told me last night I did not watch. Um, I was doing some other stuff. I'm in this uh, cleaning out closets and cleaning out the laundry room mode. That's what I've, I've been doing all day long. I had every intention of cooking this earlier. And also I'm, I need to make my summer wreath for my door. I still yet to do that because I, I just got caught up in cleaning stuff out. And I am so excited now that it's all cleaned out. And I, I just feel elated that I got that done. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, this is almost ready to pour over here. You wanna go ahead and pour this over. Try that I, I'm gonna just, well, I tell you what, I'm gonna spoon it since I've got it. Cause what I'm gonna do is just let it drizzle through there like that, like so. That. Okay. That's a good dish. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's one of these dishes that I know that even after they after Kareem eats all the meat out of it, the noodles will still be good because that sauce is wonderful. So just make sure it gets stirred around in there really, really good and get the meat going on top there, those nice sauteed onions. And you got yourself a nice linguine and Italian sausage meal. Now that's a good meal right there. And you can even just do some uh, garlic toast with this or make a salad to go with it. I don't know what I'm going to do with Kareem with this because um, he's so funny at times. Sometimes he wants a salad, sometimes he doesn't. Karan's going to come by, and he may or may not eat this. He don't do a lot of tomato and stuff. If I had known he was going to come by this evening, I would have done an Alfredo sauce with this, but too late now. Look at that. All done. Both of my dishes are all done. My succotash. And there's my um, Italian sausage and linguine is done. The tomato, I'm sorry, the butter is all melted in that dish. So I'm going to heat me up a bowl, help me up a bowl rather of the uh, succotash. Relax, get me something icy cold to drink and enjoy. Isn't that just wonderful? I mean, this is just great for a Friday night. 
Uh, <clears throat> if you're watching the game, you can eat this with uh, some uh, good old French bread or some garlic bread that I can't have or some nice artisan bread. I can't have either one, but you can. You can put some cheese over it to garnish it with or you can eat it just like it is. So these are just two dishes that you can make simultaneously because basically they have both of them have the same ingredients. So I'm going to get me a bowl going and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I'm still at it. I found that small piece of salmon in the refrigerator. I got it in a skillet with a little lemon pepper and some butter. I'm trying to keep my butter from burning. This is a thin piece of salmon, but I'm just going to think it'll be good. I was going to do salmon, and I changed my mind, but I thawed it out, so I thought I'd better go ahead and throw it in the pan. So, anyway, when, when it's thin like that, just get that butter good and hot or oil or whatever. And, um... Keep the heat low and just keep putting butter on top like that. It'll be ready in a minute. Listen, y'all, I'm getting ready to sit back, relax, and enjoy me a plate of food. I got my uh, succotash already there. I'm going to um, just sit back and relax and enjoy. You can start to chop up my uh, Italian sausage and put over it. So I'm going to enjoy this meal along with the family. And I went in the refrigerator and I found some coleslaw lurking in the back back there. So I got all my food right here on the stove, ready to plate it up and sit back and relax and enjoy it with something cold to drink. So as soon as the salmon is ready, I'm going to put it on my little plate right there with my coleslaw. And we're going to see what we're going to do with this meal. Okay, y'all, there it is. Everything is ready to roll. I'm getting ready to sit back, relax, and enjoy this meal. The succotash is wonderfully done. It's good. I've tasted it. And, of course, I got me a bowl of it helped up back there on the back burner. And that uh, Italian sausage with the linguine is ready. So, Kareem will have him a good dish when he comes in. And I found a piece of fish and some coleslaw in the refrigerator, so I went ahead and pan fried that fish and dipped up some of that coleslaw from yesterday. So, I'm going to have me a nice, nice, light meal. I'm trying to stay on top of those carbs. So, listen, y'all. Until I decide to cook again or come and talk to y'all about something, keep those prayers going up now so the blessings will continue to come down. We even had a tornado warning here in my town in, in North Carolina today. So, I don't know what's going on with the weather, but we'll just keep each other lit high and lifted in prayer. Got me some food going on in case something does happen here tonight. So until I decide to cook again now, keep the prayers going up so the blessings will continue to come down. And until I come back and get with you guys in the kitchen again, I'm going to say love you guys. Thank y'all for tuning in to Lou.